I'm going to do an exercise for Siamese Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. If you don't already know, Siamese Mahjong is when two players play two hands at one time. There's a link in the video description below to the rules and scoring, and there's a link to a demonstration. The purpose of this exercise is to practice decision making when you get your dealt hand. Sometimes it can be a little overwhelming, so it's a great way to practice if you have tiles at home. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. Three, two, one. We're going to do three random pulls and we'll alternate between player one and player two. For player one, we get 28 tiles, player two, 27. We have Jokers, Green and Red Dragon, Single West Wind. In Cracks, we have Singles, one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. In our Dots, we have a pair of Ones, two, four, seven, pair of Eights. In Bams, we have pair of Twos, three, four, five, pair of Eights, and a Nine. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, I think I would play like numbers with eights or maybe a quint with eights and then one through five consecutive run. This is how I would start. I would discard these first. Up here, we could play a quint. Six, seven, eight, eight. That would be the second quint. I think I would focus there, but I would hold the seven and this eight for like number potential. So I would also hold the dragons because we could play eight, eight dragons. We'd have to throw away a pair of eights or we could just play like numbers with eights and let the dragons go. Because this quint has no gaps, I think I would focus there first. But I would hold these just in case. And I like to keep them in order and in suit. Down here, we have a lot of one, two, one, two, one, two, two. We have two, three, two, three, four. There's a hand in the consecutive run category concealed two three two three four no gaps but i wouldn't commit yet that's a concealed hand so you can gather and not commit until later there are other things that we could do here we could even maybe play a pair hand if we get one bams one two one two two we need a one bam and flowers. So I would stay concealed and gather, discard these. And because we have only two discards, I probably would go ahead and discard those dragons, give myself time to build this hand. This up here looks pretty solid. The multiples are here. So you might say, well, why not keep the nine? We could play six, seven, eight, nine, but we'd have to throw away this. That's why I think playing this quint with all these jokers looks pretty good to me. I would still keep these, maybe keep that one and discard those. That's how I would play it. Really this tile, the only way at this point to use it would be to play two, three, two, three, four but there's no gaps. 
maybe these tiles can go too to give us time to build on the one, two, three side. We have a joker, pair of flowers, pair of south, and an east, pair of white dragons, and a red dragon. One, three, seven, eight in cracks, three, four, five, six, eight, nine in dots, pairs of sixes and eights. Then we have one, three, four, five, eight, pair of fives in bams. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, I would build around the most of my multiples. Sometimes they won't all go together. Here we have six, eight. If we had a two bam, I might play two, four, six, eight. But because we don't, I would focus on this run, three, four, five, six, and play the sixth hand down under consecutive run, single, single pair, pung, kong. And for the other hand, I would focus on the other multiple, three, four, five dragons concealed. So I would discard those first and use these as joker bait. A lot of discards here. So I would come up with a plan B. What we could do is keep one, three for one, three, three, five. And we could use these down here for four, five, six dragon. Same tiles. Plan B. Keep these for a while. Because if we get a two dot, we could play the two, four, six, eight hand with flowers. That might even be a little stronger. Even though we have a gap, it's a single tile. So I would probably keep these in focus here. So that leaves us with six discards and joker bait. I think that's a better plan. We have a plan A and a plan B. Plan A, plan B. So we do have other discards, but some flexibility. Okay, for these tiles, we have three jokers, a pair of flowers, and a pair of white dragons. We have a pair of east and a pair of west. Here we have a pair of one cracks, four nine. For bams, two, four, six, seven, nine singles. In dots, we have two dot, three, five, six, seven, eight in dots, pairs of twos and fives. So if these were your tiles, what would you focus on? and what would be your first discards. If these were my tiles, I think I would play east and west with the year. So, pair of flowers, east, west. We could use these up here for east and west. As a matter of fact, if we did, this hand would be set. We could Kong, Kong, or really Kong and be ready to win. But I don't think I would do that. You could maybe push it to maybe be a pure hand but it would take some work, but I would consider it 
even though I would want to use these jokers down here for the for a quint and this is going to take some time to build up because we have so many discards and joker bait I would probably come up with a plan B so we have two four six seven nine four nine three then we have ones we might be able to hold one three three five one three three five that would be a 25 point hand with these jokers i would rather use them for a quint though but we could hold it for a plan b and use this for joker bait that would maybe take this down to seven discards anytime you have a lot of discards come up with plan b so that you can have some flexibility and hold on to those plan B tiles, discard the clear chaff first. I think that's how I would play this one. Stay concealed as long as possible. If you can, make this one pure. We'd have to draw in east and west, of course, or more jokers. So it would take some work. One of the differentiators for American Mahjong is that we play with an annual card. The categories on the card, for the most part, stay the same. It's just the hands themselves change. Even though we have predetermined hands to play, there's great flexibility built in if you practice. For Siamese Mahjong, we have that same flexibility and we have 28 and 27 tiles respectively to work with. Sometimes you can even create a near ready hand if you have a good eye and if you practice. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.